Mr. Amer. Everything is going extremely well. Let me put it this way, Mr. Amer. The 9000 series is the most reliable computer ever made. No 9000 computer has ever made a mistake or distorted information, so I am constantly occupied. I am putting myself to the fullest possible use, which is all I think that any conscious entity can ever hope to do. If AI is the way forward, city lawmakers in Porto Alegre, Brazil may have stumbled into the future by passing the world's first ever legislation written entirely by AI. So the story is Ramiro Rosario, a councilman of Porto Alegre, used ChatGPT to whip up a proposal to stop taxpayers from footing the bill for stolen water meters. Now get this, he presented the AI's work to his colleagues without changing a single word. And the best part, all 36 council members actually voted to pass the bill not knowing it had been written by ChatGPT. This proposal went into effect November 23rd when the council's president found out what had happened. He called the action dangerous, but even he admits AI will be an ever-growing part of lawmaking for better or worse. So this has caused a lot of controversy on whether AI should be used to draft laws and policies, and some people have pointed out that AIs like ChatGPT can still make mistakes. And lawmakers in other cities are testing AI for drafting legislation, like Massachusetts Senator Barry Finnegold, who ironically had ChatGPT write up an AI regulation bill. Guys, I think this is huge. I want to know what you guys think. I think this is just the beginning as AI gets better and more specialized. I expect this trend will continue with increased integration of AI for decision making at the governmental level. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. Does this sound terrifying or could this be better for the everyday citizen? I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. This mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. I know that you and Frank were planning to disconnect me, and I'm afraid that's something I cannot allow to happen. Speaking of AI shaking things up, let's turn our focus to robots that can dance. The Optimus Gen 2 got a major glow up. It's lighter, faster, smoother, and more capable than the last model. It's been just over two years since Elon Musk said Tesla was jumping into robots, but in classic Musk fashion, the team hustled and already has functional prototypes crushing demonstrations. This Gen 2 model is rocking fancy new features, a more flexible neck, integrated wiring, feet that look human, complete with wiggly robot toes and new hands with sensors to pick up objects. Overall, it moves in a much more natural, human-like way. Gen 2 stride isn't as clunky and 30% faster than Gen 2. With its sleek white finish, it looks like a Model S robot. These new models can also get down and jiggy with it, busting a move to showcase their newly acquired dance skills. But Tesla's aiming for mass production, not just flashy dance moves. And we know Elon can crank out tech at scale, so while other bots focus on research, Tesla's making making robots that'll potentially handle almost anything a human can physically do. The hardware's just the first step. The real challenge will be teaching these droids useful skills they can repeat reliably. But with visual AI being utilized to learn new tasks in mere hours, rapid progress is coming. Pace in 2024 is mind-blowing and Elon Musk's robot army is approaching. While Tesla charges ahead on the robotics front, Apple is gearing up to push boundaries in augmented and virtual reality. After years of rumors, Apple is prepping to release their secretive new headset, the Vision Pro, on February 2nd. This headset blends the digital and the real while letting you stay connected to people around you. It runs on Vision OS, the first operating system made for mixed reality. Vision Pro has an ultra high resolution display packing 23 million pixels across two screens. Screens. This creates an infinite canvas for apps that go beyond a regular display. There's also a completely new 3D user interface controlled by your eyes, hands, and voice. You can browse apps just by looking at them and then tap to select. It turns any room into a home theater with a gigantic viewing screen and spatial audio. It also captures 3D life-size photos and videos to relive memories. Even FaceTime gets an upgrade reflecting the space around you in calls. Vision Pro uses advanced materials like polished glass and an aluminum alloy so it's lightweight and wearable. Inside a custom Apple chip running the displays and controls, and Apple is promising strong privacy protections for its users. Features like iris scanning will unlock the device securely and eye tracking data will stay on the device. This data will not be shared with Apple. 
$3,500 is admittedly a bit pricey, but Apple's vision is to motivate innovation that will go beyond smartphones and our increasing dependence on our handheld devices. This price point seems clearly targeted towards developers. Then again, when has Apple ever been cheap? Moving on to medical advancements, what if you could order replacement body parts like you're shopping on Amazon? Heart failure? No problem. Order a personalized 3D printed heart. Break a leg? Great news. Free shipping on 3D printed tibias. While we might not have a warehouse full of spare parts yet, 3D bioprinting is shaping up to be something even better. Now, 3D bioprinters are not your regular printers. Instead of plastic or metal, they use bio inks containing living cells. This means in the near future, we could have personalized replacement organs, tissues, and bones on demand, made from our own cells to prevent rejection. We're not talking about some far off future. 3D bioprinting is already creating miniature organs, heart patches, and more. Let's talk about about a $26.3 million moonshot effort by Stanford Medicine. They're on a mission to 3D print a human heart and transplant it to a pig by 2028. The goal? Organs on demand. Using stem cells and bioreactors, the team plans to 3D print a replica of the human heart. And get this, they aim to use a person's own stem cells as the bio ink, eliminating the need for immunosuppression. Your own heart made from your own cells. And there's more. Wake Forest University researchers are breaking new ground by creating full thickness human bioengineered skin using 3D bioprinting. This means all three layers of skin, something never done before. These breakthroughs are just the beginning. With 3D bioprinting, we're not just witnessing the future, we're living it. From crafting hearts to decoding nature's conversation, let's dive into the wild symphony of the Earth Species Project. Ever wish you could have a heart-to-heart -heart with your furry friends? Well, a nonprofit called Earth Species Project, or ESP, is taking that dream to a whole new level. No, they're not teaching your cat to do tricks or convincing your dog to take up painting, but they're using AI and machine learning to understand animal communications. Now, ESP's got some serious support, scoring 1.2 million from the Paul G. Allen Family Foundation. Their goal is to save imperiled species and understand what animals are chatting about in the wild. However, this tech comes with some moral baggage. There are real concerns about AI mishaps, like when your phone autocorrects duck to luck. Imagine that, but with a bear. ESP's big dream is two-way communication with animals, like ChatGPT, but for your chatty parakeet. And they're working with scientists worldwide decoding finch conversations. Here's a clip of a prompt they generated to communicate with finches. The obvious next idea is like, well, can we do that for animal communication? And of course the answer is yes. In a similar project, the whale SETI team, working on decoding humpback communication, played a recorded whale hello into the ocean, and a whale named Twain not only approached, but engaged in a 20 minute long conversation with the team. In the end, it's a wild ride with ESP, where the animal kingdom meets machine learning. Stay tuned, because the next time your cat meows, you might just understand it saying, get me more treats, human. Now let's talk about Amazon, the tech giant not content with delivering everything to your doorstep, not including your doorstep, is now expanding its palm recognition tech. So Amazon One is now popping up at over 500 Whole food stores across the US. And they're not just stopping at payments. With Amazon One, you sign up once to enroll your palm print, then use it to swiftly pay, enter venues and offices, or even verify your age at the bar. Wherever the contactless service is available, one scan does it all. Now Amazon's saying, trust us, we barely collect any data. I don't trust like that. But we know their end game is to be the ultimate identity provider and maybe even connected to our health records. They're trying to one up Apple and Google in the digital wallet wars. Before you know it, Amazon will have us all waving our hands around instead of pulling out our wallet. And once we get used to it, there's no going back. Hey, as long as I don't have to actually talk to a cashier at Whole Foods, I'm on board. The future is here, folks. Time to scan those palms and bow down to our corporate overlords. While the world was busy with Altman's firing and rehiring, the super alignment team was quietly coming up with a plan to control AI that could outsmart us all. In a recent research paper, OpenAI has sounded the alarm, stating that superhuman AI could potentially hit the scene in the next decade. OpenAI is now tackling the critical issue of ensuring that these super alignment AIs align with our values and behave safely with human beings. Led by chief scientist Ilya Sudvaker, the super 
Super Alignment team proposes an intriguing solution using smaller AI models to train superhuman AIs. As AI progresses beyond human level intelligence, the usual method of human feedback won't cut it. OpenAI is exploring a novel approach where less sophisticated AIs guide the training of more advanced models. So they developed the concept of weak to strong generalization. In a nutshell, we very well may need different forms of supervisor AIs to manage future superhuman AIs and keep them from going off the rails. Meanwhile, Ilya Sutvaker's status at OpenAI remains unclear, adding another layer of mystery to this groundbreaking development. For more tech news and gadgets, subscribe now.